Yes, good afternoon. It's Eric Sands from the Sands Firm PC. And today I want to comment about one of the significant issues in New York, in the city of New York, that is, and that's CPL or Current Procedural Law 14050, which is an exception to the Fourth Amendment. In other words, we know it in the city of New York as stop and frisk. Or it shouldn't be stop and frisk, it should be stop, question, and possibly frisk. But in New York, we know it's stop and frisk. Uh, we have a problem here in New York, and the problem is 14050 is a good tool, it's a good law enforcement tool, but it's being used excessively. What I want to do is give you some tidbits of information about 14050. Yeah, you may not know this, but the police have a right to stop, question, and possibly frisk you if they want to investigate you for committing, about to commit, or they suspect you of committing in the past any felony or misdemeanor defined in the penal law. That's what 14050 is. Only police officers can do it anywhere in the geographical area of employment in the city of New York. That would be the five boroughs. If it was Nassau County, it would be the county of Nassau. If it was the state police, it would be a statewide jurisdiction. And there's only one other group that can use stop and frisk, and those are court officers. And their geographical area of employment is around the courthouses. So those are the only people that generally can use stop and frisk. Just keep in mind that when a police officer used stop and frisk, they could use force or they may not use force, it depends on the circumstances, but they have to use the reasonableness. And that's the big thing where we all get in trouble with trying to understand what the frisk is all about. But just keep in mind that yes, it's legal for police officers to stop and frisk you, but it depends upon the circumstances. And oftentimes you'll hear, I couldn't stop him or they shouldn't stop him. You have to hear all the surrounding circumstances in order for you to understand that. But there are some people who are calling for the complete stop of uh, the cease of the whole use of 14050. I think that's pointless. I think you have to give some tools to law enforcement because, after all, you have to make society safe. And again, like I said, 14050 is an effective tool. It's a tool that has been abused in New York in the past. But hopefully going forward, it will be a tool that will be used to effectively reduce uh, crime and other violence in our communities without abusing the communities themselves. Thank you.